So you're thinking about making a move right here to one of North Dallas's top suburbs and you're looking for a master plan community, but not just any master plan community, one that has absolutely everything. This community has walking trails, multiple resort style pools, splash pads, parks, frisbee golf, and even has a director of fun and a brand new school right inside of the neighborhood. This place has it all and we've got affordable pricing for homes on smaller lots, even townhomes on the luxury end. And we've got these huge, gorgeous homes on larger lots that we're gonna be checking out right here behind us. So we're gonna be starting out with this beautiful Highland home on a 70 foot lot. This just opened up and nobody has seen it, not only here, but anywhere as far as that goes. And then we're gonna be checking out a more affordable option for those of you looking for a little bit smaller lot, but still get that luxury high-end feel without the luxury high-end price. So let's go ahead and check it out. We're getting today's tour started with an absolutely stunning brand new Highland home that nobody has ever seen on this channel or any other channel. This house is called the Verona Floor Plan by Highland Homes. It is a four bed, four full bath, two half bath, a study and a media room. It's all on one floor and around 3,400 square feet. So we're right here in the front of the home. As you can see, we've got this long, tall entryway. There's gonna be tall ceilings all throughout this house. It's a very high-end, luxury-feeling home. We've got the beautiful double doors, bringing in tons of natural light and a window up top as well. And I think you have 12-foot ceilings as you walk in. They've even got the wood paneling up top, so there's a lot of really cool finishes in this home. Of course, it is the model home, but it kind of shows you what you can do with these plans if you are building or if you're buying a spec and want to do some extra things after the fact. So we're gonna stop, start off to the left Right when you walk through the door, you're gonna have your first half bath right in here, which is really nice. And like I said, you're gonna have tall ceilings throughout this entire house. It is a really, really cool layout. Additional storage right here. All the doors in this house are gonna be eight foot solid core doors, which are really nice. And then you're gonna have two bedrooms right here. So we're gonna go straight to the left, right at the front of the house and look at the size of this bedroom. So this is not the master. This is the ensuite right at the front of the house. You've got your own little living room here. So if you have people staying with you, in-laws, whatever, they're gonna, they're gonna hang a TV right here, have their little sitting area, couch. And then you've got this entire bedroom right here. And I think we have 12 to 13 foot ceilings here in this house. Of course, your oversized seven foot windows here in this Highland home as well. So really cool first room and just the way it's laid out, additional window space over here as well. So lots of possibilities of what you could do with this space. And you're gonna have your own, let's see, let's walk around here if you can sneak by. Own walk-in closet right there, fully separate. And then your own bathroom, oversized vanity right here. And then the floor to ceiling tile. And of course, if you just wanted to make this a frameless glass shower, you could do that as well. So an awesome first bedroom. I don't think anybody would mind trying to stay in this house for quite some time. If you've got older kids, you're worried about them moving in and staying, that might be a problem for you. So now we're here in the next bedroom. Once again, you've got the 12 foot ceilings in here. Uh, two, not one, but two seven foot windows, tons of natural light in here. Just a really cool layout. You've got your walk-in closet. I think all these are gonna have walk-in closets in this house. Like I said, it is a 3,400 square foot, one story. And this is actually an ensuite as well. So a little surprising, but here is your own bathroom once again. So an oversized bathroom, even got your window right over here. So, uh, big vanity, tons of space throughout this entire house. I love that they put it all in one story. And these are on much larger lots than traditional. Uh, these are on 70 foot lots. So even though this house is all on one floor, takes up a lot of space, you still get plenty of yard. Now we're gonna <laughs> hop over to this side. So you've got three bedrooms right at the front of the house and they are all en suites. So uh, the huge windows, once again, the very tall, tall ceilings. Uh, these are gonna be some of the tallest ceilings you're gonna see. Most of the time you're gonna see 10 foot as the max inside of a bedroom and Highland does 12 to 13 feet in their bedrooms, which is something you don't see very often. And then now you can see kind of what I was talking about, what you can do with any of the bathrooms if you wanted. You've got the drop-in 
uh, frameless glass shower right here. Easy to walk in. If you've got older parents or anything staying with you, you don't have to worry about them trying to hop over the tub. And then you're gonna have a linen closet as well as another good size walk-in closet there as well. So three ensuite bedrooms right at the front. Uh, I don't think anybody's gonna complain about where they stay in this house, but that's all in the front of the house. And you're gonna continue down this long, beautiful entryway, and that's where it's really gonna open up. So this is kind of the wow factor when you get this home. So if you have people over, this is, you know, they're gonna come in, they're gonna look up. You've got beams, cathedral ceiling, 10 foot sliding glass doors in the back with additional windows up top. It is absolutely stunning. And before we get to the kitchen space, I wanna take you over here into the media room. So right off of the main living space, the living room area, you're gonna have your media room space right here. So they've hung a TV here, but they'll give you connections and everything uh, for a projector. So this is kind of a space you can do whatever you want with. If you have kids, you wanna make this into a game room, playroom. Of course, you can do that as well. And then you've got these double doors right here uh, to keep all the sound here in one space. So let's hop over into really what you wanna see. And that is this insane, gorgeous kitchen space right here. It is absolutely beautiful. You got quartzite countertops. Everything is modern luxury. You've got, uh, you know, enough counter space here for just about anybody. It wraps all the way to the end of the house. I want to say that's about 20 feet across. Uh, so plenty of space. You've got a luxury, uh, luxury cooktop, Vena hood right here, all custom built. The cabinets go all the way to the top. Looks like you've got uh, white oak cabinets with a, I think it's called a silvered oak stain on here. So it looks really, really nice. They've carried the quartz out countertops all the way to the back, which you see on very, very high end luxury homes, which I really like. And then you're gonna get fridge air, professional high end appliances as well. And of course you gotta check out what we're working with here. So nice size pantry space, not huge, but it actually does go across uh, another three feet over that way. So it is bigger than it probably looks on film. And we're gonna hop in through here before we go to the rest of the kitchen and check out your laundry space. So you're gonna come in from the garage right over there, but you've got this oversized laundry space where I know a lot of you are gonna love. They've wrapped the cabinets all the way around here. Additional counter space, quartz countertops, big drop-in sink right here if you wanna need to clean anything that's muddy, dirty. Uh, of course, your washer and dryer. And then they've got a full-size fridge in here. So if you got kids, you're worried about fridge space, they've got you hooked up right here. So this is all tucked away into the corner, plenty of space. And then this over here is gonna be your mud bench. This is where you're gonna be coming in from the garage. This is a three car tandem garage space. Um, and you can also get a regular three car garage as well. And that's gonna be standard with all of these homes. So now we're back into the main living or kitchen area. Once again, you can see that this is a massive, beautiful kitchen and it drops in over into the informal dining space. So this is gonna be the dining area here in this house. It is nice and beautiful and wide open. This is a, pla this is a place for entertaining. This is all wide open and uh, set up really nicely for parties. Um, you've got a little desk sitting area. You can pay bills, do whatever right here. Your kid can do some homework, but plenty of space. You got windows all throughout this location. And then you're gonna be looking into this gorgeous living room space that we saw earlier. You've got this amazing uh, fireplace right here, the additional cabinetry, floating shelves. You've got the quartz in the back back there as well. Um, you can do some under lighting under that as well if you wanted to do that as an upgrade, but plenty of options for what you wanna do in this space. It is gorgeous and I hope you can see from the camera right there just how nice this place is. And then of course an upgrade uh, that if you have the money for, you got the sliders right here. And these aren't just any sliders, they are 10 foot sliders. So most of the sliders we show are gonna be eight, maybe nine feet, but you got 10 foot sliders going into your back patio space that we're gonna show you here in just a minute. But before we do, you're wondering, where's my office space? Well, instead of the front of the house, it is in the back of the house, which I really like. It's a little bit quieter back here and not in your traditional spot and then check out the ceiling in this room. So you got the cathedral ceiling with the beams once again in here, 
really high-end luxury feel. They've got the additional cabinetry they set up. Most of the time you have to do that after the fact that you can actually have Highland come and do this any way that you want. You see that they've done these floating shelves. But if you wanted to make this into a library, carry it all the way to the top, that's an option that you could do as well. And I wanna point out these really nice seven foot modern windows here in the back. So you're sitting here working at your desk and you can basically look into your backyard oasis right here that we're gonna check out right here. All right, now we're here in the back patio space, a very nice entertaining space if you like to entertain. And it's one of the largest patios that you're gonna see in any of the houses that I show. So when you walk out of your sliding glass door, you're gonna have, I wanna say almost 15, 20 foot ceilings out here covered from head to toe. You've got this really, really cool uh, modern fan. You've got a really nice wood burning slash gas fireplace. You do have the gas connection here to get it going and you can hang a TV right here. So really great for entertaining. And I wanna kind of show you how big this space is. So it's gonna wrap all the way to this side of the house where that half bath um, is gonna be right here. So if you have a pool back here, you're gonna be able to use that very easily. And then it wraps all the way to the other side of the house, which is really cool. So they put a nice big table here. So if you like to entertain outside, you've got a pool. This is a great space to do it. This is a huge patio, and one of the things I wanna point out, if you wanna get the drop-down screens throughout this whole place, it's gonna cost you, but you can definitely do that. Keep all the bugs out here that we have in Texas, and these are the 70-foot lots. So we're gonna head this way real quick and kinda of show you what you get as far as the 70-foot lot. So not a massive space, but it is still tons of space. You could easily put a pool back there, playground, if you like to garden, there's plenty of space for that as well. And if you're wondering about this beautiful wall, this is going to be, um, if, you get a, if you get a fence like that, you're on the outside barrier of the neighborhood and that is gonna be maintained by the HOA. So you will never have to maintain or touch that. The majority of lots out here are gonna be your nice tall cedar fences. So beautiful patio space, beautiful backyard. Now let's go check out the rest of the house. All right, now we're back in this beautiful, entertaining living space and kitchen area, but we're gonna head into the master bedroom and it is one of the nicest master retreats and bathrooms that you've seen in quite some time. So I wanna point out that they do have an additional doorway so you don't have to go through that slider every single time you go outside. If you wanna put a doggy door or anything, this would be the spot to do it. And then here's your second half bath right here tucked away in the corner. So if you have a pull out back, they just simply go through that one door and have a space right here, which is really nice. And then tucked around in the corner right here is going to be your master retreat. This is an absolutely gorgeous bedroom. Bedroom. It is a really long and wide, so they've actually, this is something uh, that you'll have an option to do if you were to build this home. So the bedroom would traditionally stop right here, but they bumped this out uh, and added all these windows all the way around. So you've got a total of five windows right here. Nice little seating space. This couch is actually pulled out. So there's tons of room in this place. And you're once again, looking out into your backyard. And then a uh, really gorgeous setup. You've got a king size bed, still plenty of space to move around. It does not feel crowded in here. And I wanna point out this, this really fancy door right here. I just wanna be honest with you. Uh, if you're living here and you have a spouse and they're using the bathroom, you're trying to go to sleep, probably not the most practical. You turn on the lights, it's gonna brighten this place up, but it looks really cool in the model home. Just wanted to point that out. If you, you know, you're gonna have options as far as what you put here. But this is uh, one of the nicest luxury bathrooms that we have seen in quite some time. So you've got three or two vanities and then a nice little sitting area right over here that is really, really cool. Nice and spaced out, feels high in luxury. You've got the gold framed uh, glass, I guess, mirrors in here, as well as the tile they've carried all the way around this entire room is covered in tile. And then check out this shower. This shower right here is really, really cool. You might as well just come on in so I can kind of show you where this really cool drain. So we've got the modern drain right here in the center. So everything just kind of rolls right into that instead of your normal just circle drain, just little touches like that. You put all your soaps and shells right here, uh, just basically hidden away from everything else so it can get that clean look. You've got a shower head on each side. I've also seen this with the uh, rain shower in the at the top right here and another shower head right here. So you can have all kinds of shower heads if you want to and then an oversized uh, luxury tub right here, standalone 
which always looks a little bit better, a little more modern, but really cool bathroom setup. And then course, your, your toilet area right here, tile is even over here. It literally goes everywhere in this place. And then it's gonna carry into your master closet. So your master closet is a really nice size. Again, you've got these tall ceilings and they've carried the uh, shelving and everything all the way to the top. You can put your racks up there as well, your coats, everything during the winter time. You've got a shoe shelf here. They've actually added uh, some drawers, dressers here. So you don't have to put everything into your bedroom. So there is storage everywhere in this place. It looks like about 12, 13 feet of storage and then 12 feet tall is for storage as well. So you're even gonna have racks and shelving every single corner in nook and cranny all the way to the ceiling in this closet. And one of the things you're really gonna like, you got this additional door space right here that connects into your mud room as well as your, uh, your garage space and your laundry space. So basically, uh, you don't have to come climbing across the entire house, go to the front of the house to do your laundry, which I know a lot of you are going to like. Now, next, we're going to get into pricing. Before that, if you like what you're seeing and you think you have any thoughts of moving here to the Dallas area, anywhere in Dallas for that fact, make sure to give me a call, shoot me a text or send me an email. I'd love to help you and your family make a smooth move to Dallas. Now, let's get into pricing. Now, these homes are on the biggest lots. These are the nicest builds in all of Trinity Falls on 70 plus foot lots. These are all gonna be a minimum of 3,000 plus square feet into the mid 4,000 square feet. Now this is the Verona floor plan and it is gonna start around $948,000. And of course you can add and subtract and do all kinds of things to these homes to make it more or less. So. If you want to build one of these homes on the 70 foot lot, high end luxury Highland homes, you're going to start around the $850,000 mark for their 3,100 square foot home. And then you're going to go up from there. But don't worry if this isn't in your budget. Highland builds many more affordable prices in the 40 foot lots and the 50 foot lots out here as well. We're going to check out a little bit more affordable, actually a lot more affordable pricing here in just a little bit. We're out here in the neighborhood of Trinity Falls here in McKinney, Texas on the far north end of McKinney. This neighborhood has absolutely everything that you've seen in all the other amazing master plan communities, but this one's a little less talked about, but this neighborhood just opened up their second amenity center. So they have two resort style pools, they have playgrounds everywhere, walking trails, frisbee golf, a fitness center, splash pads, basically everything you possibly need. And they even have somebody that works here that's called their director of fun. That is literally their name. So there is community events and things going on all the time. It is one of my favorite neighborhoods. It does get near the hype that it should. And they've got absolutely gorgeous homes that we just saw right here and homes in more affordable price points that we're gonna be seeing next. Now we're gonna be checking out a beautiful Perry home on a 50 foot lot, so 20 foot smaller as far as the front or the yard goes in these homes. So you're gonna be at a much more affordable price point and this is all going to be on one story as well. And Perry is known for their large, extravagant, beautiful one story home. So when you walk into these houses, you're gonna have a long, beautiful wide entryway, beautiful eight foot door and the additional window bringing in tons of natural light. So we're here at the front of the house. You're gonna have a beautiful office space with eight foot doors throughout this entire house. You got the glass inserts to bring in some more natural light. Not a huge office, but plenty of space to get your work done right here. Uh, they got a really cool backdrop, three additional windows, bringing in that natural light once again, but a really cool setup right at the front of the house where you traditionally see your office. So once again, we'll point out this beautiful wide entryway, basically feels like a high end bowl. You know, you could bowl if you wanted to play some cornhole, whatever you want to do, but a really cool setup. And you'll also see that in their larger floor plans as well. So this is a four bed, three bath, 2504 floor plan. So 2504 square feet, they keep it nice and simple and it is all on one story. So we're gonna enter into the first bedroom. You're gonna have storage throughout this entire house, but a nice size bedroom, they're all gonna have the 10 foot ceilings at least in this home. So every bedroom, even if they're not huge, is still gonna feel like a really good size. And this is going to be your ensuite bedroom. So you've got a nice oversized bathroom right here, nice size vanity, additional window, and then a beautiful walk-in shower right here. And if you do want to do the frameless class, 
that is gonna be an option that you could do as well. And then a really good size walk-in closet space. So whoever's staying here is gonna be plenty happy with the size of everything. So this is your first bedroom. It's right at the front of the house, or I guess right behind the office space. And then across the hall, right here, you're going to have your garage space, which is gonna be the sales rep's offices right now with this nice little mud bench to keep all your dirty shoes and everything tucked away and your jackets. So we're continuing through the nice little entryway here and we're gonna head over to the right before we get into the main living space and show you two additional bedrooms, a bathroom and a laundry space. So the first thing we're gonna show you is the bathroom space. This is the one that's gonna be shared by those two bedrooms. So they've done the tub shower combo right here. Once again, that is giving an option that you could do. And then they've got the one vanity right here, but a nice size bathroom. And then we'll head into the princess palace right here. And this is going to be the larger of the two bedrooms over here. So nice and wide bedroom. Of course, they got their nice little tea party sitting area over there. Window tucked in the corner, the elevated ceilings once again, and then a nice little walk-in closet. Definitely not as big as the other one, but still bigger than your traditional closet space. And then your next bedroom. So this one's gonna be uh, a little bit smaller than the other one, not quite as long or wide. And then the closet space is gonna be the same size, but you've got the elevated ceilings, so it still feels like a nice size bedroom. And then your laundry space. So your laundry space is tucked over here in the corner. If you wanted to add additional cabinetry over here or over here, that is gonna be an option for you. It's not huge, but we've got huge washer and dryers. It does what it needs to be done. Uh, so not the biggest space, but you can still utilize it well. And then we're gonna be into the main living space. So this is going to be, uh, once again, a nice home for entertaining. Uh, we've got the quartz countertops in here, the oversized sink. It is set up for entertaining. And we don't have the biggest pantry ever. We got a nice little corner pantry, but this wraps all the way to the other side. You're gonna have your gas stove, a nice size Vena hood, uh, really cool cabinetry with the glass inserts. Now that's going to be an option that you could choose, but if you're like me and have kids and you actually use those, you're probably not gonna want the glass inserts there. So we'll point out the uh, pantry space, not the biggest, but it's still a corner pantry, but you've got cabinetry everywhere and countertop space that stretches all the way to the other side. You've got the single oven in here, but a double oven will be an option for you as well as carrying the cabinets all the way to the top, which I know love, a lot of you are gonna like. So little coffee bar section, whatever you wanna make this, but tons of space for storage. And this is gonna be right next to your informal dining space. So we've got this nice, uh, I would say eight foot table, seating for six, you could probably sit eight, no problem whatsoever. Uh, and you're gonna be able to see into the main living space as well as your kitchen area. So a really cool house for entertaining. And then now we are here in the main living space. So 10 foot ceilings throughout this area. We've got really nice can lighting throughout to bring in, you know, I guess not natural light, but plenty of, plenty of light in this house. Windows everywhere. We've got seven windows out back here with a massive covered patio. So it's a little more shaded than what you're gonna see in some homes. And then you got your nice little gas fireplace right here with your TV hookup up top. So a really cool house, uh, the way it's laid out. If you like the nice wide open feel, this is a great option for you. Now they are gonna have two story options as well as larger one story options. Now we are here in the master retreat. This is gonna be a very long bedroom. So a really good size bedroom. We've got the six windows out back, bringing in that tons of natural light. Once again, 10 foot ceilings, uh, seating, uh, seating area. They've carried the really nice hardwood floors. And here you're gonna have tons of options as far as tile, hardwood, laminate, whatever you wanna put in these homes. You're gonna have plenty of options to choose from and then your master retreat, or I guess your bathroom. So really nice, wide open bathroom. It's nice and bright. We've got a huge tub right here. Uh, I realize that it is boxed in. Not everybody likes that, but some people do. So if you, you know, if you like to drink wine or whatever, you can throw stuff, candles, everything all around here. But if that's not your style, you want a standalone tub, you're gonna have that option put in here as well. We've got the two separated vanities and then the three uh, glazed over windows right here. So nobody can see in, but you're still getting all that light from the outside. And then of course you got your linen closets right here. 
And then your shower is tucked over here in the corner and it's actually much bigger than it looks. You can do the frameless glass, of course, but they've carried the uh, tile all the way to the top, which I really, really like. And it looks like it stretches out four to five feet. So it's a little bit bigger than it probably looks on camera. And then one of the things you'll probably like about this home is that it's got a his and hers closet. So no fighting over anything. Everything is separated. So a really good size closet. If you want to put additional rack like we saw in the last house, you could do that up top. Let's see what we're working with over on this side. Boom. So another nice size closet right here. So separated, big bathroom, really nice size bedroom, all on one floor. So a really cool layout, once again, for entertaining, having people over. Uh, there's really no hiding in this house. It's not a two story, but like I said, they have large two stories, large one stories. And if this is too much house for you, they've got smaller homes as well. So let's talk about pricing. Now these homes are on the 50 foot lots, Perry homes, and they are gonna start in the mid 500,000s. If you wanted this home right here, right now, you're gonna be in the high 500,000. So we start lower and we can go up into the 600,000s and they have lots 60 and bigger or we can get even bigger homes. So you're gonna have tons of options as far as homes to choose from out here, from small town homes to homes on well over 70 foot lots. So let's talk a little bit more about where this is located. So we're out here in McKinney, Texas on the far northeast end. What's really cool about this neighborhood is that you're right next to 75, but far enough away where you don't hear any of the road noise. They're actually building a brand new entrance into this community. So you're gonna have three main entrances. They have commercial shopping and dining also being built right now, as well as a 200 plus million dollar amphitheater right up the road. So as far as entertainment goes, you got everything you could possibly need right here in this community and right outside of this neighborhood as well. You can also hop on 121 and get to Frisco, Plano and everywhere you wanna be very, very quickly. So one of the best neighborhoods in all of North Dallas, it just it doesn't get the attention that it definitely needs. But if these homes weren't what you're looking for, make sure to check out one more option right here. This is the 60 foot lot with the Perry homes, a little bit higher end and something I think you'll really like. So I hope you enjoyed today's tour and make sure to give me a call, shoot me a text or send me an email and I'd love to help you and your family make a smooth move to Dallas. Hope to see you around town.